sociology lets us examine society more objectively. Thus, we are able to focus on how the different elements of society fit together, as well as understanding the consequences from social change. A theoretical perspective is a set of assumptions about reality that inform the questions we ask and the kinds of answers we arrive at as a result. Today, we will examine the four major theoretical perspectives within the field of sociology, but bear in mind that there are many other ones as well. Number 1, the macro versus micro perspective. This is one of sociology's major theoretical and practical divides among its thinkers and experts. A macro view of society is one that focuses on the big picture of social patterns and structures. They also look for trending factors and indicators. A micro view of society is one that focuses on the details of individual experiences and daily life. All sociological studies can be classified as either a macro or micro approach to studying society. Despite the fact these approaches are often considered as competing perspectives, in reality, they complement each other quite well, as they are mutually dependent. Number 2, the functionalist perspective. The functionalist perspective is often called functionalism. It originates from the work of French sociologist Emile Durkheim, who is one of the founding thinkers of sociology. Durkheim's primary interest was how social order could ever be possible, and how society maintains stability. These views became the essence of the functionalist perspective in sociology. The functionalist perspective operates on the macro-theoretical level. Number 3, the interactionist perspective. The interactionist perspective was developed by American sociologist George Herbert Mead. This approach is micro-theoretical as it focuses on understanding how meaning is created through social interactions. This perspective makes the assumption that meaning is derived from everyday social interaction, and thus, is a social construct. Number 4, the conflict perspective. The conflict perspective is very well known and comes from the writings of Karl Marx. It assumes that conflicts arise when resources, status, and power are unevenly distributed between groups in society. According to this theory, conflicts that arise because of inequality are what foster social change. From the conflict perspective, power can take the form of control over material resources and wealth, over politics and the institutions that make up society, and can be measured as a function of one's social status relative to others. Several other sociologists and scholars embraced this perspective including Antonio Gramsci, Wright Mills, and the members of the Frankfurt School, who went on to develop the critical theory. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We would love to know your thoughts about the theoretical perspectives of sociology. Please give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss future videos. See you next time.